What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Uh, so, like, yeah, if you do a stipulation and they revolve around a specific card, uh, it's a lot harder to do. Like, it's not harder, but it's... Um, well, I guess it is harder. It's it's harder to set up, right? Because, like, the three stips we have right now is one is an upheaval or a wildfire deck, so we actually have to open those. Um, another one is build a stacks deck with mass land destruction, mana denial, winter orb, etc. And we have to open those as well. And then the last one is from, uh, from Vili. I am Valley Man. And it's like you can't play any card whose rules text includes word target, which is pretty difficult. But um, he said he wanted to be here for that one. So we only have two in the queue right now. But both of those are very, very specific. And if we don't open the cards for them, we can't do them. So if you were just like only draft cards with converted mana cost four or less, right? Like that's a lot. That's that's something you could just do. <clears throat> or like draft a Super Friends deck, have at least six Planeswalkers in your deck or something like that, you know. Because those are things that you're just gonna you're just gonna naturally happen over the course of a, any draft, really. All right, so have you tried the new Bolas and Vintage Cube? Yes, he's awesome. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, Natural Order and Ashiok are the two cards I'm leaning towards here. I got the doodle up in Discord for the Chicago draft you're coming out for. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's kind of just natural order. Oh, Emrakul. I do like an Emrakul. And like, I'm keeping my eyes filled for things like, eyes peeled for things like upheaval, wildfire, etc. I'll take Emrakul. Emrakul has a nice high upside. Uh, Gaia's Cradle seems great it goes with this natural order and tooth and nail goes with this emerald can we force grixis reanimator as a stip sometime just because that's my favorite archetype yeah i mean we could definitely do that j john thank you so much for the reset buddy i just got back from sonic temple a little cube is just the thing what is sonic temple i don't know what that is <clears throat> oh scarab god the scrabble god that doesn't even make any sense why it's called that which Emrakul? Always this Emrakul. Um, I th think it's probably Green Sun Zenith here. Oh boy, here I go, cheating big boys into play. <laughs> here I go, cheating them again. I'm gonna play this Arbor Elf. That's a... Uh, you think it's Ewit over Arbor Elf? I think Ewit is less replaceable than this. I, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you Wall. I think we can get more Arbor Elf esque creatures. Three Day Music Festival jammed out with Dave Grohl and the Food Fighter. That seems like gas, dude. Well done. Well well done. Well done. Scavenging ooze. Tireless Tracker is pretty good. Let's take a Tireless Tracker. <clears throat> Ooh, Lotus Cobra. All right. Our green deck's looking pretty all right so far.
Uh, definitely Oracle of Moldiah here. I don't think it's particularly close. Oh, the new Vivian? That seems nice. Let's try the new Vivian here. Devoted Druid comes back? I like Terastodon, but I think Devoted Druid's a little more relevant here. Not even a little close? Don't you? You don't know what makes Garrick sad. You don't know about Garrick's life. I'll take the Duress. I think black is one of the most uh, common colors to be paired with green, so. How would Benedict Cumberbatch pronounce Ulamog? Ulamog. Uh, I don't I don't actually know. I don't think I could do a good Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, Vraska? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Just get them black cards and then you just go to town. <clears throat> See? There you go. There you got an Ink Eyes, too. We can bounce our Eternal Witness. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, Pernicious Dude? Look at that. Look, we got a Pernicious Dude. Fast Bond. Also, Jitte and Woodfall Primus. Oh, and this is an interesting pack. I'm not a huge fast bond fan because unless you have ways to like accumulate a bunch of lands in your hand. Oh, we do have Oracle of Moldiah, I guess. Oh, biscuits. You have natural order? I I know. What's your point? What's your point, curvaceous kitty? Is it this wood that we should take the woodfall primus so we could have something? I agree with that. Oh, Sylvan Caryatid. Caryatid? 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 Sylvan Caryatid? Sylvan Caryatid? Caryatid? Caryatid. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, I'm just going to take this guy. You were right. I said it multiple different ways, though. Where's my Raffellos? It's my Raffellos, and I want it now. Ooh, Avengers Endicar and a Lanowar Elves. Ooh, yikes. I think it's Lanowar Elves here. We have a guy's cradle. And this guy. Come on, let's be real. This guy comes back. Click on my link. All right, hold on. Ready? Caryatid. 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 Okay, take it easy. Caryatid. Okay. Caryatid. Caryatid? Caryatid. <clears throat> Pelucranos? Avacyn's Pilgrim? Probably Pelucranos, right? I'm actually, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I've said this a thousand times, I'm always impressed by Pelucranos. As for a 5-5, five, five, it's just very hard to deal with. Oh, Elvish Mystic? Deal. Oh, Wilderness Reclamation? Eh, no one cares about that. I mean, I guess... We don't have any instants, though, right? Like, I guess we could untap and then Tireless... Actually, I have Vivian Reed. Maybe this is decent for once. Kozilek? Kazi? A little pel pelucranos with a side of spanakopita. Yeah, that's uh, that's my favorite Greek meal. Oh dear God.
Ooh. Deranged Hermit, Verdant Catacombs, and a Whisperwood. Verdant Catacombs is not bad with Oracle. We can uh, <clears throat> fetch. If we ever want to splash any of these black cards, it's pretty good, too. Hermit's pretty decent, though. <laughs> yeah, that's Steve. You knew exactly what I was talking about, dude. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh lord. <clears throat> I think I like. I think I whisper was better than than deranged term actually. I mean, this gives you two. This gives you five. Like, it's still. I think whisperwood is just a better. Uh, oh wow. Okay. Sure. I think whisperwood just gives you a better. Uh, it's just a better creature. Come on. You guys know what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. Uh, I guess it's Inquisition. Heartbeat of Sprague. I'll take Edric in case we're uh, in case we end up blue here. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse in case we end up black here. All right, we did it. Was there a card that we wanted to come back? Avenger did not come back. <laughs> Please. I do remember Herman's head. That had Hank Azaria on it, who is well known for his uh, his work on The Simpsons. That's true. I, I have a hard time. Uh, I have a hard time denying the salt type hole. Eh, this pack's pretty meh. I mean, we just take Ancient Tomb or Garrick, right? And I, it's probably Garrick. I mean, we have we have Gaius Cradle, which I think Garrick is pretty nuts with Gaius Cradle. I've actually heard good things about <clears throat> about Hank Azar or about uh, Brockmeyer. It's got to be Garrick, right? Oh, Finale is interesting here, because it's any creature, so we could theoretically get, uh, let's see how long these have been out. They've been out for a while. Oh, not too long, I guess. All right. Yeah, we have an open power in uh, quite a few drafts here. That is a Leovold. I'm not sure our mana base really supports it with, uh, what is it, mm, Mono Forests? It's got to be just Finale here, right? Sword does seem pretty good, actually. I do like a sword. It gives us a little bit of... It's got to be Finale, though. Recurring Nightmare is great. <clears throat> Maybe it is Recurring Nightmare. The problem is we don't have... It's not really a Recurring Nightmare, because you don't have ways to get things in the graveyard. I think it's just Finale, guys. Fintorn Elves? Probably better than Nissa. I like Nissa a lot, but again... My theory is that Nissa will likely table Finhorn Elves. Probably not. Oh, I like Ooze a lot. I think Ooze is actually very, very good. Sylvan Library? That's exactly what we want for our green deck. Thrag Tusk maybe comes back. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Another Garrick, huh? All the Garricks that make creatures are also pretty good now because we have... Uh, I don't know why, I guess. I just made that up. It's still Garrick. There's nothing else in this pack I'd really be convinced to take. Carnage Tyrant seems good. So does Vraska. I could see splashing the Vraska, but we have no way to do it efficiently. Um, Lotus Cobra is like, and Sylvan Carry are our only cards that make the... I think it's just sort of Body and Mind, actually. Did you see my last message? Ghost of the Sun, where did you... What did you say? Uh, maybe not. How long ago was it? <laughs> oh, I saw I goes to the sun message. I'm gonna highlight that. I just got an error when I subscribed. Did you get it on your end? Oh uh, no, I did not. But you still have a subscriber badge. <clears throat> oh, Mike B on a lunch break. Like you do. Oh, acidic slime. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Oh, little tribe boy. Tribe boy. Do we want a Tribe Boy or do we want uh, Hissing Quagmire? Eh, probably Tribe Boy, right? 
Yeah, this is ramp. Probably not going to make the cut, though, little Trabby boy. Yeah, everybody's like, when is Mike B going to be back? And I'm like, when he gets his robot body, for sure. Oh, look, Leovold comes back. And Recurring Nightmare came back. Man. Man, oh, man. And Sword of Fire and Ice came back? Good lord. I'll take the sword. Sword is most likely a card we're gonna... Sword is a card we're most likely to play if we have to. Progenitus. Natural Order. Oh yes. Oh yes. Do we actually... Um... Mike, did you hear Frank will set up a camera in your room so that you can be part of the stream from bed? <laughs> Did he promise that? I don't. Uh, I don't know if I remember that particular portion of the stream. Yeah, I could see cutting one of these. I'd probably play the other because reasons. Yeah, it's fine. Remember that time we did get Progenitus in our hand every single time? Actually, now I probably want to cut both of the Eldrazi for the Carnage Tyrant. That puts us at 24. And I think we can probably play 24 lands with this assortment of, of dudes. But finale X equals fifteen. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. X, X, X equals twelve is pretty good though, right? Because then you give it haste, and it gets plus ten, plus ten, so it literally just kills them out of nowhere. That would be gas. Twelve mana progenitus. Oh yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Nope, 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 and nope. This deck looks like a, this is a work of art. This is a this is a green work of art, guys. Oh man, we might have a, Mike, a wild Mike B tomorrow. That'd be crazy. I haven't seen I haven't seen Mike B in years. Is there forty one cards? Oh, because they gave us seventeen lands. Cool. <laughs> like I would ever. <clears throat> what? What? Why would we play Emmy? Like we don't have anybody cheating to play. Like we'd literally just be hard casting it for fifteen, which seems much worse than Flip Garrick, which actually kills very very relevant creatures. I think anyone who always encourages cutting Flip Garrick, uh, I think they really really don't respect Flip Garrick enough as a way to kill a lot of really, really useful cards like Leovold, Goblin Welder, like there's tons of useful creatures that you can just kill with a Garrick that green decks otherwise don't have a way to deal with. Flip Garrick was then in my pancake stand in high school. What was the Garrick referencing? You know what I love to wake up to? I have no idea. Inorganic pancakes. What does that even mean? <laughs> it's a regional dialect. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Guys, I just want to point out. 
That's uh, there you go, there you go, there you go, guys. Every time. I don't know if this hand is keepable. Actually, I think it is, because if we hit another land, uh, we do have a turn. We can also go turn three, tracker into land. Or turn turn three, acidic slime, if we hit another land, so. Yeah, so if the, we don't count this, like, it's a mull to six. Unfortunately, this is a mulligan, because we can't ever cast this. If we're somehow able to discard it magically, that's fine, but... <clears throat> We're playing against Grizzard. One, two, three. We've got four men on turn two. That's pretty good. Gotta watch out for Goblin Guido. Where's he gonna come from? Where is he even gonna come from? Oh, see? Here we go. Now we have a Pelucranos and no way to deal with it. And then when they play their fifth land, they get to just pick off our Devoted Druid. So this game is actually probably over now. That's real sad. Let's see if that's what they want to do. Maybe they don't. They probably do. You're a grizzard, Hattie. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? This dude's totally dead. This is so sad. This guy's just sitting here laughing at me. God, see, this is what I mean about Pelucranos. Like, it's just this, it's just a dumb 5-5, five five, but it's really hard to deal with. What are you gonna do now? Nothing. Got him. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing. With all your power, you have nothing to threaten me with. <clears throat> okay, so that's it's not gonna do it. Uh, we have no real thing. What do we? Let's see what we drew next turn. I mean, we block here, take seven, right, or else we die. So. And then we wouldn't have a creature in play. Natural order would have been a sweet draw sooner. But yeah, so apparently, see, this is what I mean about the uh, the old uh, the old Pelucranos. It's a hell of a card. Pelucranos is a hell of a drug. I will play first. <laughs> two for two. Literally, literally what I was going to say. Okay, this is a hand. Now, we are speaking. 
I will keep that on top because it gives me the least the least chance of drawing a polychronos. Wow. Or not Bob Progenitus rather. Yes. Alright, so next time we just get the natural order into into progenitus, right? So now we're talking. The only thing that could hinder that is us drawing progenitus, right? Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like it was it would not have uh it would not have been lost on me to actually have drawn it there. Uh let's say green, two three, natural order. I'm gonna go to the cobra because this is always a mana and this is sometimes a mana. Ooh, we could also get nope, we're just getting progenitus. I was like, we could also get Woodfall Primus because boy, that's a card I'm just This guy's just gonna get in there. What are you gonna do? Block with your Lotus Cobra? Sure. You ain't. I always yeah, I was like, oh god, one time, don't be Pelucranos or Progenitus. God, so many weird P sounding legendary creatures. I guess it doesn't sound like a P, I guess it is actually a P word. You're a P word. That's a Jace the Mind Sculptor. He did. No, nah, he's alive because I'm just going to go to their face. I'm not sure what the green blue deck does against Progenitus. I mean, maybe an upheaval? That would be real good. Oh, they just, they just conceded. That's what they do. They concede. So we actually went a little bit faster that time, so that was nice. That was that was good. Progrucronos. Yeah, that's a good that's a good name. Buddy, boy, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna submit like this. I think our deck is fine. Elder over finale? I could see that. This hand is beautiful. This hand's like artwork. Until we top deck progenitus. You guys ready? I'm ready. God, Lotus Cobra every game? Jesus. That's ridiculous. I mean, so long as we can dodge Pelucranos here, I think we're good. Pelucranos being the scariest card in their deck against 1-1-0-2-1-1. One, one, oh, one, one. Uh, well, five mana. One, two, three, four, five. I guess they can kill one of these. Uh, it does not have protection from Council's Judgment because you choose a card. You vote. Yeah, land mocks Cobra into Pelucranos. Two games in a row. The two games they win seems very, very good. My god. He did say dodge progen. Did I say progenitus instead of Pelucranos? My god. I mean, they can only kill one of these. So I guess that's a thing, right? So I guess you get rid of Devoted Druid. I wish getting rid of the target countered the monstrosity. No, I don't, because then they would actually be able to do it again. Sure. I mean, we can't have infinite blockers yet. That's also good. Play this. Play land. Play this guy. Alright, so 7, 8, 9. I guess we, we would block here for sure. So we're just going to go to 4 here, which is not ideal. Leaves us with five mana, which means we could play Whisperwood, then just block the Pelucranus with the token.
Easy block, easy block. Uh, Vince Charming, I actually don't think we are going to be playing Modern tonight, just because I have a hard time playing Modern. Oh, you got to be kidding. You got to be kidding me. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually go five here. Whisperwood. Doot, doot. Gar Garukles. Make a Wolfums. Attack for two. Pass the turn. This gets manifested, so we no longer have to draw it, which is great. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, that seems a little late, especially with a Garrick on board. What's better, blocking with the token, the 2-2, two -two or the wolf? Does it matter? Probably the wolf is better in case they have a sword. And land six. Uh, we're just gonna hundred percent fight this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. That's a lot. That is a lot of mana. So what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can actually. Oh well, we can actually play this. Make two dudes. And then what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually make double oozes. But we can also we also kind of want to get this down too, because otherwise I don't think it's gonna resolve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, right? <clears throat> so this is going to get manifested. So we're going to automatically have seven off of this. Yeah, we're just going to resolve this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to make six. Takes. Yeah, we'll just make one now. I mean, they have one blue. That is fine. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fascinating. Let us look. Yep. Um, choose two cards in your hand, draw on this turn. This one, put on top, and put on top. Play them both. All right, so <laughs> this is a lot of things happening here. We're going to eternal witness here. We'll get back Garums. Let's use that ability for sure. Play to land, right? Just making sure. You can counter this. Oh, Mystic Snakeroo. That's pretty good. Are they just dead if we alpha here? They blocked the two biggest guys, which are these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I think they're dead. Kill me. <laughs> no, I'm just figuring it out. Just gonna, yep, all right, we did it. I think they didn't Mystic the Ewig because it doesn't matter. I'm reading some of your articles on uh, CB, and there's an article about FM tokens a while ago. Do you think they haven't improved? Uh, FNM tokens? Um, what are even FNM tokens now, actually? I don't actually know what they give out at FNM for tokens. I went recently. Um, last week I went to FNM, and I got a, I got a Dovin's... Uh, 
might might actually be over here. I think it is. <clears throat> Dovin's negate. Dovin's veto. There you go. This guy. But I have no idea. Yeah, you can see the green screen's really playing havoc on it. But I have no idea why I got it. Like, I don't know if the top eight gets it. I don't know if it's random. I don't even know why I got it. So... I'm going to keep this because Sylvan Library is a powerful magic card. The store gives them out how they see fit? That's weird. I feel like there should be some kind of rules. I guess it should be like, I gave them to my, my, the people I like the most. Yeah, there's Green Sun Zenith and Dino Zenith. <laughs> Dino Zenith. Uh... Oh, wow. You know, how many people have Mox Pearls against us? All of them. Every single one. Oh, is that better? Maybe. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. I don't love it, but it is what it is. Wow, this is a lot of artifacts. Are they going to upheaval? This seems like they're going to upheaval at some point. Boy, they're really showing off here. That's true. We can never draw Progenitus with the library in play. That is a, uh, is a fair statement. I'm tempted to just green Sun Zenith for one here to get a dude out. Like, they have five mana, we have four mana, so we're not actually that far behind, I don't think. But next turn with the guy out, we actually have five mana, so we can start attacking with Sword of Body in mind. I kind of like that. Hmm. Finhorn Elves? Elvish Mystic. Let's go with the Finhorn Elves, because they have the best art. These ladies are tough. My LGS, they give them out to everyone, and the top players get to pick what they want. That's, yeah, all right. That's cool. Plus, with, like, the, the green sun if we can just draw it again. So. Jace Friend's Prodigy. Kodama's Reach. All right, this actually seems great, because sort of body and mind lets us crush. You put that into play, so you have an island... Oh, this is fantastic. The Imperial Seal put it on top, and then we get the Sword of Body and Mind it away. Oh, that's gas. Oh, guys. Oh, boy. We are doing it. Um, So we're going to play this. That gives us a, does one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five mana. Six mana. So we can play Elf. Uh, put on top, pay four life to keep. Cut my life into pieces. Imperial seal, what are you going to hit? Uh, I have no idea what they were going to get there, but none of these cards are great with uh, with Jace here, so that's good. It might have been just Liliana of the Veil, vale. maybe? That seems interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it actually could be Gristlebrand. They would have just hard cast Gristlebrand. That actually seems about right.
they do get to flip chase here. But like the only things they can cast are Compulsive Research and Mana Leak, basically. They also have Mana Crypt as well. Okay, so we knew about that. Although if you're going to Compulsive here, I feel like you should have held that, unless you just have another land. Uh, yep, they're going to just Compulsive Research here. Sad they didn't target me, but that's fine. I guess that's fine. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh boy. We tried, guys. We tried our best. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Oh. E-Witness? What do you even get? Nothing. But in the end... Do, 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 do. So we have 7-7 seven, seven here, huh? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So we can, we can play both of these... Um, put on top, put on top. But in the end, I mean, you gotta, you guys gotta consider that if we swing with the wolf and then kill it with Garrick, uh, they're gaining fourteen life. So they can draw, I guess they can only draw seven cards here, right? And then they basically die to the, the life is rough, but their deck is pretty debilitated right now. I guess we can just equip it, right? Just go whoops to whoops. Yeah, like they basically have to block, so. What? They just took it? What? <laughs> um... I feel like they're overvaluing their Gristle brand here. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll do, I guess. Yeah. All right. That's a thing. That's a thing. I think I clicked through blocks, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, this guy's real good, man. I uh, I can't block. I'm sorry, but you die. Yeah, I'd rather die. Okay. Um. That is your choice. We could put in one one uh, one swamp, play Sakura Tribe Builder, and play like Maelstrom Pulse, which seems pretty decent. Also Inquisition. <sighs> sort of body and mind, guys. Don't don't sleep on that one. That's a good one. What do we cut though? Uh, Finale can go. Progenitus still seems like a sweetie. Uh, again, that was a situation where Garrick Relentless would have done some work that the green decks otherwise don't really have 
Take out the Vivian Reed. So we're gonna bring in Maelstrom Pulse. I'm bringing two mount two uh two of these guys. Uh, instead of take out the Voto Druid for Sakura Tribe Builder, even though it does not as much. Bring in Duress. Uh, I like Manamorphose and I also like Inquisition here, but I don't think they're super necessary. I'll try it like this. Josh, have a good night, buddy. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I hope. Would a step of casting progenerest be possible? Uh, casting it? Uh, it seems pretty difficult because you also have to get progenitus. Uh, well, we're definitely not keeping this. You have to also you have to both get progenitus and you have to get ways to cast them in your in your pool. Okay, well this is just the same hand only without progenitus. That's okay though. Oh wow. Come on. Yep, there we go. Oh boy, this is uh Oh well, that's that's just magic. Uh oh, it's magic. Advantage cube. I'll play a forest. Go ahead. It is your turn. Forest go. Gonti. Gonti. They got a they got Atlanta War Elves? Shoot. I am very excited for Factor Fiction and Modern. The funny thing about Modern is it's a, it's a card that's like I wonder how good this will be in modern, and then you never know, and then it probably won't be very good. But still, I, I still think it's a very exciting card. Scoony love, what's going on? Did you just play another signet? All your lands, and you have no way to threaten me. Uh, let's go. Oh damn, we don't have we don't have land here. What is going on? I guess we could just play tracker here. Ugh, crying out loud. This is like a free turn for them, though. I would have loved to land, so I can go Tracker land, or I can go uh, Oracle of Moldiah. Both of those are better than just Tracker by itself. I'm gonna get nappy up in here. <clears throat> it's good times. Uh, I, yeah, I think they've taken... Oh, they're just going to hard cast Grossel Brand. It's good. It's good. It's all good. There's a block here. Yeah, it's fine. Do you guys think there's any way... Do we have any way to deal with this guy now? I don't think so. They have 18 cards in their deck. We have 29. Oh, they drew seven, didn't they? Oh, they're at five? God, so close. I wish I had a way to... Any jank tribal commander decks you want to try with the new Moro font? Not on my own, really. I don't I don't really think about... I don't, I don't think of magic in terms of commander, interestingly enough. But, I mean, if you're asking if I'd like to play them, I definitely, I definitely would be open to it. All right, so I 
Why sub? I don't think you're subbing. I don't think you're subbing gifts ungiven for factor fiction, right? Because like, yeah, G Gaia Groot gifts ungiven is a win, uh, but in like control decks, factor fiction seems unbelievable. Hoping for a land on top. Are they encounter this? Are you mana leaking this? Oh, you're just dirty. You just dirty. You are just Yeah. Alright, so they're good at hard casting Gristlebrand. God, we really have no way to deal with that, do we? We're on the play, huh? Well, this is fascinating. I don't think we want ink eyes, right? Nah, it seems greedy as hell. Thank you. Ghost of the Sun. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. That time, it definitely went through. That time, we made it. Looks like we made it. If we can get seven mana, we can destroy Gristlebrand. That seems good, right? I really like ink eyes though. It's gotta be ink eyes, right? Let's just try the ink eyes, right? What what can go wrong? They don't have that many creatures though. Dang it. You know what? What the hell? It's a gamble. I'm a gambling man. I'm gonna take a risk. Take a chance. Vivian does give reach, I guess. That's true. That is true. Uh I'll keep this hand. I do like a Maelstrom Pulse here. Again, our hand is super slow, but we don't have anywhere near the uh, the arsenal of ramp that they do. <laughs> Which is funny to say as a green deck. What's prismatic view? Is that the uh, is that the fetch land for basics? Okay, okay. Do we just get do we just green sun for a one one here? Because now that we hit the black, that was all I was really worried about. I just wanted to get a sylvan carry out or something. Finhorn elves again is going to be the pick here, and then we can just play this guy into this guy. What's what can go wrong? Oh no, they're gonna mana leak it. One, two, play this guy. One, two, three. Yeah, let's just play Cobra here. If you want to mana leak a Cobra, that seems fine. I'd rather have Cobra mana leaked than Garrick. So. Uh, there's not going to be... They're, they're not going to have any fetches in, in Modern Horizons. Modern Horizons is specifically listed as a set that has no cards that were ever printed in command in Modern. All 254 cards in the set are going to be new to Modern. There will be no fetch lands in Modern. Or in uh, Modern Horizons, rather. Bone Shredders ready! Okay, okay. Let's acidic slime this island so that we get rid of this guy already. Now you 
you can't even no you can't even can't even pay for this idiot oh dang it they got me now they're gonna Kodama's reach Hero's downfall in Finhorn Elves. That's fascinating to me. How do you get that Good Me Undies sponsorship? Uh, they reach out to you and they're like, hey. I mean, there's a bunch of... It's, it's through a site called Endorse, and uh, you get a bunch of options. Oh, they took two? Oh, they're dead. Damnation. Necrotol. What in the earth? Sure. That's sad. I guess we should have went Garrick. Okay, well, we drew all of our... All of our swamps here. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is even going on? Goes in hand, right? Yeah, okay. This is a lot of like... This is the... Hey, this is the War of the Spark Wolf. Trixies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. Oh boy. No, this is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. So, not, not there yet. Just you wait. Yeah, the greens, that's the Arlen Wolf, right? Yeah, it's this one. Big Choops? Um, block here. Because we can actually just go get a Woodfall Primus. What if we kill this Woodfall Primus like Tropical Island? I guess we can't do both, right? <sighs> oh, we could acidic slime it. No, that dude's in the trash can. I guess we could go get... It's gotta be Woodfall Primus, right? I kind of want to kill this Jace, to be honest with you. One, two, three. What do we have? Four, five, six. We have nine mana, eight mana. So one, two, three. And then we need to be able to destroy an artifact for five. I mean, Witness and Slime only takes care of this, and then Jace gets to flip, which is pretty hard to deal with. I think we can actually skip a turn. I want to kill this Jace. Because we still have Eternal Witness to get back the Maelstrom Pulse.
I have three cards in hand. I'm not sure what they could be doing here. play this guy. I think we just sacrificed this guy. That seems much better than actually doing, like, because getting two of these is pretty good. Uh, Ink Eyes seems really good when they have Necrotal, Bone Shredder, and Jace in their graveyard. It might just be Eternal Witness, though. Thank you! Snoozamu, thanks so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Could also be just Oracle Moldiah. Just play Oracle here. Get some free lands into play. Liliana's Triumph. Mm, sure. Sylvan Carry Out is not doing us any favors anymore. Ink Eyes. Whew. Ink Eyes off the top. Well, they only have three cards. Only, he says. Oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, now we are in top tech mode for sure. Oh, but we know we're getting ink eyes, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Oh, what if they have... Hmm. Do they have mana leak? Interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. They they do always have mana, like, especially because, like... Well, if we ninja to it in next turn, we're going to actually have to lose our Garak, which doesn't seem great. I'd probably just block, make another guy, block, make another guy, until I get an actual creature to play. They could just easily have Thoughtseize. I mean, well, they couldn't, though, because we've seen Mana Lake both games. And we haven't seen Thoughtseize any games. Oh, God. Unbearer writes Choops. Yep. All right. So we definitely lose this guy. This is a lot of... Ninjutsu is not counterable. It's an ability. Well, that's sad. No, it's not. You can't counter it. It's an ability. It's like, a, it's an activated ability. Well, yeah, it's got a colon right after. Return on block creature, untack it to your hand, and pay five. Jesus. I mean, unfortunately, the thing left is Bone Shredder now. I guess there's Jace too, but I really don't want to flip Jace and give it to them, so. Uh, what happens if you stifle Ninjutsu? The same thing that always happens. You pay the cost and the ability doesn't resolve. They have two cards in hand, they just demonic tutored for one of them. So if they have something like Mana Leak. Oh, 
interesting. Cycle miscalc. Oh, they're at seven, so if they play Gristlebrand, they can't actually draw cards this turn. Yep, and they're just going to hard cast Gristlebrand. Oh, Shieldred. You have no evasive abilities, do you? Well, that's pretty good. Well, that's pretty hard to deal with. So one, two, three, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Because now they need another black source. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another land, so. Whereas like Mana Crypt could actually just kill them at this point. If we attack with both, they have to block with this guy. No, Mana Crypt, they actually, no, it was still seven. They would have had seven. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Like, they get they get back, like, Chupacabra here, which is pretty nice. But the only thing, I guess, they can kill whatever they want, I guess. That's pretty rough. Come on, give me them flips. They lost the flip. They're at four. Oh, boy. Well, they can't kill Primus here. Not reasonably, anyway. And we also have eight mana, so we can actually make two oozes if they don't kill the ooze, but they probably will kill the ooze. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the damage is done. That's sad. Yep, all right, that's fine. Not a land. Not a progenitus. That's fascinating. So if we get progenitus, we'd sack ink eyes. They can't actually kill either of these with the bone short of this in the graveyard, right? Or we can just play it safe, get Whisperwood, but then they kill the Whisperwood, right? So. Eternal Witness doesn't get anything, really. Thank you. Pelucranos doesn't either. Jensen, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to get Progenitus. I mean, Witness, if we get Witness and replay Ooze, then we're just going to lose. Um. Like we're gonna we're gonna sack Inkai's to Shieldred. And if they don't have a way to get rid of Inkai's, because we have we can regenerate twice, so uh Progenitus should be game so long as we can keep the Inkai's on board. Because we need to sacrifice something to uh Shieldred. So Oh, they went to one? They get one flip. Oh boy. Oh my god. This Progenitus is going to win us the game. When they're at one from their own mana crypt. Here we go. Ooh. 2-0 with the green deck. My god. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. <laughs> well, I don't even I don't even know what that name is though. E is it Eliker? Eliker? I barely know her. Oh god.
play first. Keeping this hand, it seems okay. It's not super broken, but it does things anyway. Do, 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 do. That's good. How much would it cost for you to eat rum ham while you do cube draw? Uh, I don't eat ham, so like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars. I don't even know what rum ham is, to be quite honest with you. Look, I got two mana too. You played a one mana that cut, makes three mana. I played a two mana that makes two mana, so it's basically the same thing. Uh, is there a reason I don't eat ham? I don't eat uh, about... Yeah, I've, I've, I think I told this story a few times, but... Oh, hold on, hold on. Do we want this to flip? Do we want this to flip? I don't know. I guess it doesn't flip any... It doesn't flip either way, right? Um... The animal that goes through times or something. Uh, about 19, 20 years ago, a long time ago, I wanted to own a pig as a pet. And I had a hard time reconciling the fact that uh, I was eating an animal that I could would consider a pet. Uh, an animal that's smarter than, like, you know, scientifically smarter than a dog. And, and people keep dogs as pets, you know, so. Uh, I made a decision to not eat any more pig products because I couldn't really make sense of it. And uh, since since then, I stopped eating red meat as well. So there's only like two meats I, I actually eat uh, occasionally, and that's chicken and turkey, just because it's a compromise I've made to uh, because it's just it, it makes my life prohibitively easier to be able to uh, find things like that at restaurants. So. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people love the taste of uh, swine, but uh, some people, I, I like the animals more than I like the taste because I think a taste is a pretty, uh, you know, human. I mean, a, a taste is a pretty minor thing for me. So I'm just like, okay, cool. I can either not taste this thing uh, or I can let it live. And so I, I think I, I think choosing to let something live is, you know, a little more, more beneficial. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I've had plenty of impossible burgers. I, I I probably have an impossible burger once a week. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in um, Maelstrom Pulse. Yikes. Oh, God. Come on. Ugh. I do not eat fish. Welp, see you later. Oh, goodness gracious. We're going to lose to the mono green deck with uh, with with a green sword that they draw first. Yep. I guess we have Progenitus, so we can never get milled, right? There's our sort of body in mind. Oh, we have Eternal Witness, though. That's pretty gas.
Oh, eventually it will just be a progenitus and I'll draw it. That's a good point, I guess. So we can, it's, yeah, that's a good point. Well, that's awkward. All right, 10 more cards. We could have also gotten natural order and then killed it with acidic slime. That's a good play too. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf? Beast within. I mean, you can kill a land here. Doesn't do much. Oh, they're just trying to keep us off the sword. Sure. Joke's on you. I'm going to top deck a land, my dude. Oh, God. Sure. And move sword over. Move sword over. That is not a land. That is a sad, sad card. Yeah, natural order would be better. Get rid of the sword, then we actually have a game. We messed up. We had a 1 in 9 chance of drawing a a thing. So we are going to bring in Inquisition and uh, Maelstrom Pulse and Vraska. And we're going to take out Carnage Tyrant and Finale. And one, two, three of these guys. Three of those guys. Bring in a Tri Builder for a Devoted Druid. Uh, I don't think we need Metamorphose. We haven't had any trouble hitting one black source with one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. I know there's more than that. Nah. The point is we haven't we haven't had trouble hitting it. That's the point I'm making here. Plus you have Green Sun Zenith, which is kind of like seven. So we'll just play forty one. I'll deal with it. Honey's Joker, what are you what are you asking here? Uh I will play first. I will keep this hand. Uh Damnation kills a lot of our creatures too, which I'm not super interested in. Yeah, I could actually see bringing in an Eldrazi just to have a way to, uh, that would, see, that would prevent us from getting decked. Wow. Soul Ring 2, huh? Like you do. God, we could just play Eternal Witness to make Cradle better next turn, but that seems bad. I'd rather just play Oracle. That guy? That's it? That's your big that's your big play? Uh, let's go this guy. One, two, three, four. Oracle of Mully Dully. And play this guy, sure. Mulls McDulls. Big talk from somebody who attacked with Llanowar Elves on turn two. Hey, buddy, listen. Oh, Jesus, come on. People love talking shit about this Garrick, but God, he does. Does he? He sure always gets the job done, doesn't he? Done, done, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five. It's acidic slime. We're just killing a thing, right? Or we can play. Eternal Witness, get Oracle back, and play Library. One, two, three, four, five, six.
God, you're so rude, man. Oh, we should have. Oh, we're definitely getting that back next turn. We're going to go E Witness. Oh, we should have gotten E Witness to get Cradle back and then made a million mana this turn. So they just go block here, block here, right? And then they draw two lands. I'm just going to Woodfall Primus it next turn. Oh, that's a good one. Draw two and you get to search your library for a dude. That's value. What are you going to search for? A Reclamation Sage. Ooh, I got a Rec Sage in my neck, Sage. Ooh. Oh, Eternal Witness and two lands. Well, that's great. You get your soul ring back? That'd be interesting. You are getting the soul ring back? Well, I'll be. Butter my biscuits. Butter my biscuits. Butter those biscuits. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wowie Kazowie. So we're going to have four, eight, nine mana. So this is what? One, two, three. If we play this guy first, we can't do that. We have to tap the cradle to do that. Um, no black is true. That is a good point. We don't have any black mana. That is a... That is a thing to keep in mind. I'll pay for a life to keep this. I'll pay for a life to keep this. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, biscuits. I fudge. Whatever, you drew three. I guess it's fine. All the dancers in your grand cafe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we just gotta get rid of the Garrick, right? I mean, this is six mana, but Garrick's gonna be a real headache, so. Could have also thrown all of these guys at the Garrick and killed the Soul Ring, but. I'm gonna deal you two damage here. Yeah, digging three deep was nice. Eight damage. <sighs> I mean, they could just go like sword equip. What do you... Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mirror match. Um, oh, God. Put on top. Put on top. All the dancers in your grand cafe. So we're getting rid of sword and something else, right? And we're taking 10. 
I guess we can only get rid of sword, which I guess is fine. But we are. I mean, Vraska doesn't really do much, right? It just kills the sword. But I guess it. I guess it's probably better than to throw on the Maelstrom Pulse out, right? So. Alright, well now we gotta get aggressive here, so do 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 Yep, that's fine. We take eight. Yeah, we go to two. Okay, we can block, we can block. Search doesn't do anything. That's fine too. We got Maelstrom Pulse for that idiot. Gotta take 10. Oh. I think we just won the game. I don't know what they could have here, but... Pelucranos is going to destroy both these dudes. Wow! That's insane! 3-0 with the mono... Oh, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! Oh, we're not done. Oh, boy. Isn't there a global fact? I don't know what you mean. Oh, Lord... Do we just want Kozilek? I think Kozilek's actually castable almost in this deck. And we're at 42 right now. What are we taking out? Thank you. We haven't actually drawn this Garrick in a while. Seven months, only two, two months before our Twitch baby is born. I can't wait. He's going to be beautiful. He's going to have your eyes. Kitty cat, shut the, shut the hell up. God. God, kitty cat. Uh, all, all of them shuffle the library. Uh... Travis, you're thinking of monstrosity, but I'm not sure what you mean by global effect. I almost want the damnation, but... One cut, one cut. What have we seen that Garrett kills? Like, lots of lots of small creatures. God, why are we talking shit about this Garrett again? It's unbelievable. You guys have no respect. Um, I mean, we literally just we literally just would have won the game by killing a Bloodbraid Elf and a Lotus Cobra. So, Whisperwood, really? All right, whatever. You guys both said it at the same time, so I feel like it's probably correct. I don't love it, but whatever. 
eh, this is actually pretty keepable, especially considering what they have in their deck, I guess. Here comes... Oh, look at that thing. I hope they don't have a second land. Always with a turn one Sol Ring, am I right? Yes, you are correct. Pay costs. Oh, wow. Huh. What? They just don't have second land? Hey guys, we drew the card that's going to shuffle our library. Ma 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 may nailed it. Um, so they're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna kill the soul ring, right? Because this only gets a one hitter. And we'll hope it was good enough. It was not good enough. Oh, for f come on. We're going to draw a cause like progenitus. <sighs> it was not good enough. Could have killed Tree Speaker there. Actually, Tree Speaker probably would have been better. You can always duress yourself. What's duressing ourselves going to do? I don't think you know how duress works, buddy. I don't even know what this is. What is this, a den protector? Is duress target opponent? That doesn't sound right. That is interesting. Guys, it was a den protector. Would you look at that? <laughs> in case this game could not be more of a blowout with our 8 mana, 10 mana, 10 mana cards in hand. Yep, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew that first trophy was was too good to be true. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you're looking for a super sweet wardrobe upgrade, you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can also check out ManaTraders.com. Uh, and they have a great service, a subscription service that you can rent physical cards or digital Magic Online cards. Use the promo code and the link in my description. Make sure you use both of those and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.